Hi everyone, this is Miss Yoti. This week we are going to learn how to hold a bow properly, and we call it a bunny bow hold. So、um, last week we did a flicker of how to make a TB bow, and、uh, so.、Um, First of all, I want to explain something about the fingering. For a piano, we counted our fingers from one to five. So we have one, two, three, four, five for piano fingerings. But for string fingerings, we don't really count our thumb. We have another special、um, sign for our thumb. So for now, you just need to remember. We count one from this finger. You see, I label my fingers with the numbers. So those are one, two, three, four. Okay.、Uh, you gotta remember that we don't use our thumb. Okay. So、um, first of all, you need to find a quiet place. You could either sit or stand comfortably, so you will be able to move around. And、uh, second of all,、um, get your TV bow ready. For those of you、uh, who haven't the chance to do it, it's okay. You can just use a pencil. It's fine.、Um, so I'm going to explain the steps of how to、um, practice our bunny bow hold.、Um, remember, we all those are the fingerings. Okay,、it's, you only count up to four. There is no five in strings. Okay. Um, um, so、um, for strings, our bow hand is your right hand. Okay, raise your right hand. Now remember what we did and during the class,、um, I I I'm, I try to label、um, my knuckles with the、um, sharpies. And if you want to do it, you can do that too. If you don't, just know that we have. One, two, three, three lines for our second finger, right? Remember, we don't count our thumb. And uh, uh, step one: raise your right hand. Okay. Step two: high your thumb. Okay. Step three. Is for you to try to fold middle two fingers, right? Remember those are finger two and finger three. Okay. Now you can see the bunny ears already. Now turn your hand around this way. Okay. Now the reason that I label my knuckle is because I need use. To use my thumb tips to touch the first line, okay. So I want to do this. Okay, can you see this? Now, and then this is the cave that Bunny lives. Right. Make sure the cave is rounded. Okay. All right. This is the Bunny hand. Bow hold that you can see. Now, once you did this, check to see if your cave is rounded. Check to see if, you, if your thumb is touching the first line of your second finger. Now we can do the bunny hops. Hop your bunny. All right. Now,、um, if you can't, you can try to sing a song with your bunny hand. Okay, I'm going to see Mary had a little one. Okay, I'm going to move my bunny hand with, with the song. Okay, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Okay, make up the lyrics, whatever you want. Okay, pick any song that you like. Okay, now. Once you can do this without thinking, okay. Remember, use your right hand. Okay, we're going to see how we're going to do this 
with our TV bowl. Okay, now the thumb spot that I marked with the pink um, Sharpie is for this. And the green mark uh, that I marked with the Sharpie is for my first finger, okay? Going to make my bunny hand first, right? Okay, now sliding in the TV bowl in and open a little bit so my TV bowl can go through. Okay, now place my thumb on the spot, my first finger right here. Okay, not on the tip, a little bit lower. Okay, let me see. And those two hands are in between. And pinky, all right. It's, it's very relaxed. It's just like uh, this. And I'll make sure you still have the bunny caves from this side. Okay, the thumb is lined up with the first line, the first knuckle line as well. All right, here you go. You have this. Okay, and if you want to do a bunny hand, you can do this too. Bunny hand. Okay, just make sure don't cave the cave. It has to be rounded. Okay. All right. Looking forward to see you um your bunny bow hold and sing a song if you like pick whatever you like okay great work i'll see you next time